Welcome! In front of me I have Sony Xperia Pro i and I'm gonna show you how to go through the setup on this device. First we need to select the language we want to use on our phone. To do it simply tap on this uh, text right here below the welcome to open the list of languages and here you can scroll uh, through the list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now find the language you like to use on your phone and tap on it to select it. I'm gonna select English then we need to select the region. Uh, for example, I'm going to select the United States. Now we can tap on the Get Started button to continue. But before that, you can also tap on the Emergency button right here to call the emergency numbers if you need to. And you can also tap right here on Visual Aids. And here you can uh, configure or customize the settings for the features like uh, magnification, font size, display size, select to speak and talk back. Basically, you can tap on one and here you can either enable the magnification and stuff like that and you can customize the settings for it. Okay, now let's tap on the get started to continue. Here we need to agree to the terms of use, so we need to check the boxes. This last one is optional, so you don't need to if you want to, uh, then check it. Basically, you can agree to help to improve the Xperia uh, by sharing the data with the Sony. but. If you want to select it, if you don't, uh, don't. Then tap on the accept. Now we can insert a SIM card into our phone uh, to connect to the mobile network. Uh, I'm just gonna tap on skip button right here to skip this step, but you can uh, basically insert the SIM card and uh, connect to the mobile network. And right here we can connect to Wi-Fi. Um, you can also skip this step by tapping on setup offline and basically you will set up the phone without connecting to the internet. I recommend to connect to internet because it will um, allow you to uh, log in into a Google account and make a couple of things uh, easier basically. So I'm just gonna tap on the network I want to connect to, enter the password, so give me a couple of seconds. Okay. And once you're done entering the password, you can tap on the connect button to connect. Right here, we can copy apps and data from the Google account. So basically, if you have some uh, data and apps uh, synced to your Google account cloud, you can basically copy them uh, by tapping on next and then uh, following the instructions on the screen. Here you can select the device uh, and basically you know, you can select uh, from the cloud, from the device, or from an iPhone if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on the copy uh, because I don't want to uh, copy any data. And right here we can log in into a Google account. You can also skip this step by tapping on skip. So if you don't want to log into one, you can tap on skip and just uh, skip this step. I'm just gonna log into one. So I'm gonna tap right here, enter the uh, account name. Then tap next. And now I need to enter the password, so give me a couple of seconds. And once you're done, you can tap on next to continue. Here tap on I agree. And right here we can enable or disable some of the uh, Google services. As you can see, we have the list of services right here and we have the switches next to them. And you can, for example, disable the backup to Google Drive by tapping on the switch. And you can do it the same for the location, uh, the scanning, uh, send usage and diagnostic data, and we can do anything about install updates and apps. Okay, and once you're done customizing the settings, scroll all the way down and tap on the accept button. Right here we can uh, choose the search provider, basically the search engine, and you can do it by tapping the box next to one. I'm just gonna select Google, but you can select any of, uh, any one, any rather uh, search engine from this list. Then tap next. And right here we can set up a screen lock. So basically uh, the protection for our phone. So if you want to have uh, some kind of protection like a pin pattern or password on your phone, you can set it up right here. And to do it, simply 
uh, tap on select screen lock options and you can select the uh, type of uh, screen lock like pattern pen password and then you can uh, enter the uh, set password pen and or pattern uh, tap next enter it again and that's gonna be it i'm just gonna tap on skip to skip this step because i don't need it and then tap skip again and right here we can uh, basically set up a, a google assistant um, so if you want to use this this feature tap on the i agree and then follow the instructions on the screen basically you will need to uh, say a uh, couple times i believe hey google and answer some questions to set it up i just i'm just gonna tap on skip button right here to skip this step because i don't need this and here we can also allow the google assistant to or rather allow accessing the google assistant uh, without unlocking the device. So if you have some screen lock protection, like I said before, pen pattern or password, or, or maybe even the fingerprint protection, you will be able to access the, uh, the uh, assistant without unlocking your phone. And you can tap on I agree to agree to this uh, feature and use it, or skip to skip it and keep it disabled. I'm just gonna tap on skip. Here we can add a debit card or a credit card to the Google Pay uh, wallet. So basically, if you want to use your phone uh, to pay for things, uh, you can tap on Add Card, fill in the information, and then uh, you can enable NFC on your phone and use it to pay for things. I'm just gonna tap on Skip. And right here, we can continue the setup or finish it and, or rather, leave it and finish it later. Um, I'm just gonna tap on continue, but if you want, you can do it. Uh, you can tap on leave and get reminder and finish it later. I'm just gonna tap on continue to finish it now. Here we can review additional apps. So basically we can install some recommended apps, as you can see, and uh, use them and basically review them. Uh, you can check the boxes next to the apps you want to install or not. If you uncheck the boxes, the apps won't install. If you check the boxes, the apps will install. I'm just gonna tap on this switch to check them all and then check, tap on it again to uncheck them all and then tap OK. But you can uh, select the apps you like and then tap OK. And right here we can select the system nav navigation, basically how we want to move through the system on our phone. And we have free uh, button navigation. This is the uh, older version basically you have three buttons on the bottom of the screen and you can use them to navigate the system and the newer one is the gesture navigations and this basically if you select this option the buttons will disappear and you need to use the phone gestures like swipe from the side to go back and upwards to go to the home screen to navigate the system select the uh, navigation uh, you like and then tap next and now we can tap on the finish button and you should see the home screen on your phone. That means that the setup is complete. And that's how you go through the, through the setup on this device. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.